Wesley from Ghana. Dear Pastor, the Bible says the body and the spirit of a man are always battling each other. How can I practically hearken to the voice of the spirit and not satisfy the flesh? First, you got to know the word. Know the word of God. Study the word of God and know it. You've got to know it. So study it. Thank God for the, for the blessing of the Bible. Thank God he's made this written word available to us so we can study it. We have it. We can study it. So it's a great advantage to every one of us. So take advantage of it and study the word. Now, if you know the word, you would have already the voice of God's spirit made known to you through the written word. Now, secondly, train your spirit to respond to God quickly. Train your spirit to respond to the word of God quickly by acting on the word quickly. Learn to respond. See, don't, don't um, delay. Don't delay. Because the more you delay in acting on God's word, the weaker the voice of the Spirit of God in your life. So respond quickly to the word of God. Don't delay. You know, in, back in the Old Testament, God already taught his children how to deal with things like this. He said, be not slothful to possess the land. Don't be slothful. See? So he, he tells us, he says, quit you as men. You've got to act quickly. So that's learning to train your spirit. Thirdly, desire spiritual things. Desire spiritual things from your heart. Desire spiritual things and pursue them. Have a clear desire for spiritual things, things that matter to God. And you get to know what these things are from the Word if you are hungry for the things of God. So you desire spiritual things and the proof of desire is pursuit. I say that again, the proof of desire is pursuit. See, you can't desire something and not pursue it. You know, you, if you desire something, you go after it. If you don't go after it, you don't truly desire it. So the proof of desire is pursuit. Now, your pursuit has to be proved in several areas. Number one, your resources. And uh, that means several areas of your resources. One is time. The other one is money. And then attention. And uh, the second thing is prayers. So two things. One, your resources. Two, prayers. But within resources, your time, your money, your attention, all this you have to give. See, because except you pursue what you desire, it's not going to just show up. And then your prayer, like I said, is very vital. How do you pray? What do you pray about? What's the content of your prayer? All of this will help you to increase the voice of the Spirit. Actually, you're not increasing the voice of the Spirit. You are drowning the voice of the flesh. Because the Spirit of God always really speaks to you. And it speaks to you through your spirit. But you know, because your desires are after other things, and you are not concerned about spiritual things, you'd find that the voice of the Spirit seems to be weak. Not because it is weak, but because the flesh has gained the mastery over your spirit. See, so the Bible says, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the loss of the flesh. Walk in the Spirit. So the secret is walking in the Spirit. And when you walk in the Spirit, automatically, the voice of the flesh will be drowned. So that's the answer.